Welcome to River City Plus, the show after the show, as we like to call it the River City After Party. And today we are unplugged with Erica Sunshine Lee. Erica, welcome to River City Plus. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to have you, and I'm glad that we got on your schedule because you are a road <laughs> warrior. How, what has your travel schedule been like this week? It's been pretty intense. I was playing at the Lone Star Luau in Texas two weeks ago, and then Missouri, and then went through uh, Nashville the last couple of days and just drove into Jacksonville last night. Wow, fantastic. Thank you so much for being here. We got to see you play live in the studio. I know we're going to see a lot more music from you. Now, you get to see a lot of these different festivals and venues, but you actually created your own in Key West, and I wanted to just dive into that and understand all these different facets that make you who you are. You're an author, you're a musician, apparently now you're a party planner. Mm -hmm. I mean, tell me about all these different parts that make up Erica Sunshine Lee. I think that girls just have not gotten the credit they deserve the last couple of years in, in festivals and on country radio. And I feel like Lainey Wilson's done an awesome job in the last year or two kicking butt. Um, but there's just not enough love. And so I've performed at the Key West Songwriter Festival the last 12 years. And I thought, man, all these talented girls need to get heard. And so I just said, you know, I'll start it myself. So I started the Key West Chick Fest three years ago. And um, it's just been an awesome lineup. Every year has gotten better. I feel like people now are learning about it and hearing about it, and hopefully next year will be even bigger. So uh, I want to make it first and foremost uh, a safe, really positive environment for girls to be inspired and empower them and, and to have a writer's retreat in the morning, and then we showcase songs at night. Um, it's been at the Smoking Tuna and the Sunset Pier in Key West. So it's been a great experience. I think it's fantastic that you're bringing that to women because music and media, really where we're both sitting, are two of the most competitive industries mm -hmm. out there. So how do you help women break through that noise? How do you help them find a sound that's really authentic in a time when people are really creating sounds to be trends and very True. instantaneous and disposable? How do you help them create lasting music? I feel like you should just always be authentic and be yourself. And one thing at the Chick Fest is I love to be able to break down in the groups and write one-on-one -on -one with the girls and then learn about who they are, what their values are, where they're from, and then what story they want to tell. Because I think you can write a hit song, you can write a song that's catchy, but if it's not who you are to the core it just kind of goes by the wayside and I think that's one thing that has been instilled with me is my faith and my values and I just want to share that and leave a legacy behind and I want the girls to not only have a story to tell and know their story but also find their voice and um, everybody that I've had at the festivals has been such a different story and we've had diversity on stage even if they're country some are more beachy some are more classic country some are more pop country some are more rock and I think just, just showing through and shining the authenticity on stage. And, and it starts off stage. And when you're in the writing room, breaking that down. And, mm -hmm. and some girls are crying, you know, telling their story. And I think that's what pierces through is being able to leave behind something that's real. Um, either something I've gone through, how I write songs is something I've gone through or somebody close to me. And so to be able to share that, I think people can see right through it if it's fake. So I'm like 100% be who you are and, and tell a great story. And you're like, I am espresso martinis, I am sunshine, I am a good time, I am hard work. I, I think that's fantastic. Absolutely. You mentioned making sure that you had diversity in a safe space and a welcoming space for different sounding mm -hmm. people. So obviously we've been surrounded by Beyonce releasing her Cowboy mm -hmm. Carter album. It's been so well received by so many, but a lot of fans were like, wait a minute, this isn't country. And I think it's fantastic that you're saying country is everybody. Everybody who wants to be country is country. Well, I think it's also a, telling a great story. It goes back to that. And, and you can try to be country, and I think that there is, you know, people like Taylor Swift have done quite a quite a, an, an insanely amazing job at writing country songs, even though they're from the North. Or, you know, and, and country music is very diverse, and there was classic country, and, of course, people don't like change, and they're stuck to that. But Garth Brooks was very pop at the time. And then look at him now he's a legend and an icon right. in country music so I think anytime somebody's busting down barriers people are resistant to change but I think the greatest part about music is being able to share your story um, and and change with the times I mean Madonna's a, another great example people that have lasted and stayed relevant Dolly Parton is one of my heroes Stevie Nicks is amazing and I just think that through the years being able to transition with the time be current, be relevant, um, not afraid to step into new genres. And I've been in the trop rock genre the last couple of years, which I didn't even know about. It was like the Jimmy Buffett, you know, <laughs> music that all of a sudden I'm playing at Parrot Head festivals across the country. And I love being able to bounce back and forth and to write songs that sometimes are beachy, some songs that are super old school, traditional country, pop country, rock, bluegrass, and Christian music as well. I think that speaks to your flexibility mm -hmm. as a writer and most importantly, like you said, a storyteller, because that's really the mm -hmm. backbone 
of music and especially of country music. How does that translate into you writing children's books? Because again, they always say, if you want something done, give it to a busy woman. Mm -hmm. So in addition to everything that you do, you're also a published author. Well, I've been um, pretty busy recording songs for the last 16 years. And on my third album, there's a song called Butterfly and it's about chasing your dreams. And so I thought, man, that'd make a great kid's book. So it actually started as a song. And so I just put the lyrics to Butterfly and then had an illustrator help me out with the drawings. So I was able to kind of depict the storyline through that. But then the second book, Billy the Bully, was a story that I came up with. And I think in a world that's so full of hurt and unkind words on and offline in person, people need to be reminded, especially kids, if they learn it at an early age. But parents need to hear it, too. And it goes right along with my song, Don't Be a Richard. So spread kindness. And I thought that that was like a perfect way to get into school. I can share my songs, I can share my stories, hopes and healing, but also to share a message of just use your words wisely, choose them wisely, and, and spread kindness and be nice to each other. And some of the kids um, need to hear it more than others, and I think we all need to be reminded of that even as adults. But the newest book is a bedtime story, so it, it kind of evolved from the first book being a song, and now uh, I think my next is going to be The Change the World. I really want to make that a children's book as well. So I think leaving the stories behind and planting little nuggets of, of messages of hope and also um, for the new book, it's more of an adventure story, and I love to travel. So I think it's all part of me and who I am is to be able to share that with kids and spark the curiosity of traveling and the cultures around the world and some things they might not even know about and some new words that might be educational too. I think that's fantastic because so much of that when people are angry, when they do you know, tighten up when change comes around, it's just because it's fear of the unknown. Mm -hmm. So the more we know, the more we understand, the more open we are to receiving that, the less fear and the less combative we are. Um, I know that we're looking at one of your videos now. Ryan, can we actually switch to our fantastic girl power video because I want you to talk about the different features that are actually in this video. You sang it live on air today, be mm -hmm. a girl that can change the world, be that person who's affecting change. So talk to me about putting this music video together and, and who's in this. So my nieces are in the video, a lot of friends and their daughters, um, some people that I've met along my journey who cancer survivors and um, some movers and shakers and nonprofit founders. And so I love that as much as I wanted to film this video in Colorado when COVID hit, I wasn't able to do it. But I think God had a bigger plan and I was able to pull people together. And then we got videos from Australia and, and different people from my hometown and some people that I haven't seen in forever. And it's just so cool that I kind of put it out on social media and said, if you want to be in this video, if you know somebody that would, and you know, the girls that are out there and and they loved it. They were dancing and singing, and my cousin was in it, and it was just such a joyful video. I think it's it shows such a diversity of girls in all phases of their lives, and to show that confidence and to remind them that it's okay to have that childlike energy and, and this fun smile. I, I mean, every time I see it, I smile, I cry. I'm like, oh, my gosh, it's just Hello Gorgeous was in it. They're, they're a nonprofit organization, and they uh, restore beauty to the, the cancer steals. So, I mean, there's just a lot of powerful women in there and I think that they've inspired me and I wanted to share that. And then you can kind of picture yourself in it too. Yeah. You can absolutely see yourself in it. You see your, your mom, your cousins, mm -hmm. your nieces, your sisters, your daughters, and that's so incredibly special. So what is next for you? What can we expect from you coming up? What are you excited about? I'm super excited about touring in Italy the next couple weeks. I saw that <laughs> on your tour list, and I was like, do you need a roadie? Rance, we travel well. You Look, do. I mean, hey. Rance, show her how strong you are. Right? Naughty show her how too. strong you are. There you go. See, we can lift heavy <laughs> things. Listen, I can part a crowd. We That's got you. perfect. Well, this will be my fifth tour out in Italy. I've had a couple bands record my songs, and believe it or not, there is a country scene in Italy, y'all. They have line dancing festivals. I opened for Daryl Worley a couple years ago at the country festival in Bogera. So oh, this yeah. will be my fifth tour out there, and I'm going to eat all the pasta and drink some of the wine and have a good time. But, but also what's so incredible is how music reaches people all around the world. And even if they don't fully understand – the word, I mean, just lost in translation when I released Espresso Martini Mode. My, my guitarist over there texted me, oh, that's so cool that you know that Turin is the home of espresso and this is where the martini is made. And I was like, no, not the martini brand. It's like the, the drink martini. Like you put espresso, and he couldn't understand. Like, wait, we're going to put espresso. He's like, what are you doing to our espresso? Martini? What yeah. are you doing? <laughs> so uh, I, I corrupted it. But I think it's like the most popular drink. So it's a fun song that's to sing along. And, um, 
and I feel like that's my next um, project is going to be coming out. It's going to be on that CD, my first ever vinyl, and this will be my 11th album. So that's dropping in May. I'm really pumped. I had a crowdfunder and a lot of fans that helped me make that possible. And um, I'm going to be touring around Florida in May, and then I kick off my summer tour at the A1A Beach Bash in um, Fernandina Beach in June. And then I'll be heading out west. So I, my new album's called Country and Western. I've, I've got a blend of very organic and old school country mixed in with some some rowdy fun songs like I usually throw in there. And um, I'll be touring from Florida up to Montana, the world's largest rodeo in Cheyenne Frontier Days in July, my sixth year in a row, and then back to California and everywhere in between. So I'm going to hit up as many states as I can on the, the global tour this, this year. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. I love that. I love that you are breaking down so many barriers. You're just setting off on so many horizons and inspiring other people to do the same. And like you said in your song today, it's never too late to chase your mm -hmm. dream. I think that's something that's so important mm -hmm. in, in a time where we feel very expired quickly yeah. um, because people want to see what's next and what's next is whatever you want to write. Mm -hmm. I think that's fantastic. So where is the best place for us to keep up with you before we go? Definitely find me on Facebook, Instagram. I'm not as much of a TikToker, but I'm trying to work on it. And um, I subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see the music video that we're going to drop soon called Salt. Um, EricaSunshineLee.com is my website. You can get all your swag there and uh, check out the new book. You can go ahead and pre-order while you sleep now. And um, my new album is coming out soon. So thanks for following and thank you so much for having me. Yes, you are always welcome right here on thank River City you. Live and River City Plus. Guys, you guys have a wonderful weekend. You've got all sorts of weekend tunes with Erica Sunshine Lee that will make sure that your vibes stay immaculate throughout the weekend. We'll be back here with more River City Plus at 1015 on Monday morning and for more River City Live.